I am Omega Pax. I am the last of the Cybertronian historians. This is the history of Transformers. Enormous in both size and power, Trypticon is an unstoppable engine of destruction. Utterly relentless, totally without mercy, steadfastly unwilling to stop his attack until all that is left of his target is their smoldering remains. He is programmed to only feel hate. That, however, is also Trypticon's downfall, for all he can do is hate. He loathes the Autobots to the extent that he would destroy an entire city just to get it won. But he also hates his fellow Decepticons. And that, in turn, means he is not emotionally committed to their cause, as he sees just as little value in them and what they stand for as he does in anything else. Consequently, though he has accepted what he sees as his fated role as the ultimate Decepticon weapon, the war seems pointless and boring to him. It is a prison, and deep down, as much as he refuses to acknowledge it, the most powerful hatred Trypticon feels is for himself for allowing him to be trapped in it. Trypticon is often accompanied by smaller robots, including the autonomous Wipeout and the drones, Full Tilt and Brunt. They man and support Trypticon's massive artillery platform in his alternate mode, a form so dangerous and devastating that the Autobots usually have to resort to trickery to defeat him. The only Autobot that can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him is Metroplex, and there is a great rivalry between the two cities. Trypticon was an old Decepticon battle station, used during the Great War. He was eventually destroyed, and his remains were buried over time. Starscream left as an aimless floating spark after his destruction, passing over the destroyed Decepticon Titan, and was unwillingly pulled into his body. As Trypticon was revived, a light was emitted, catching the attention of Windblade and Metroplex. 